So how do you add and subtract fractions? Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang. I've been teaching college mathematics for nine years, and you and I both know fractions are not the best things to work with, but as you know, they are indeed a necessary evil. And what we're going to go over today are ways that you can add and subtract fractions, like and unlike denominators. But that's the key. The importance is to see if the fractions that you're adding or subtracting are have the same denominator. So let's do an addition problem real quick. Suppose you wanted to find 3 twelfths plus 2 twelfths. One thing you want to be sure of is, before you can add or subtract fractions, is be sure that the denominators are the same. In this case, they are. If the denominators are indeed the same, then what you can do is you definitely keep the denominator as is, always, and then you just add across. Obviously, 3 plus 2 is going to give you 5 twelfths. So if you're adding or subtracting fractions with the same denominator, then you just add across the numerator and keep the denominator the same. Now, what happens if they don't have the same denominator? Let's just say you have 3 eighths minus 1 fourth. Now, obviously the denominators are not the same, so therefore you have to find one. And this is where the least common denominator comes from. Now, the least common denominator is a denominator that both the denominators will go into. In other words, the denominators being 8 and 4, we have to ask ourselves, what number will both 8 and 4 go into? Well, it just so happens, of course, that 8 will go into, 8 and 4 will both go into the number 8. So, being that's the least common denominator, you write the 8 for both fractions, and you're about to change them. Well, because 8 and 8 are the same, you keep the 3 as it is. But obviously you have to multiply 4 by something to get 8. Well, 4 times what is 8? It has to be 2. And, since, and whenever you multiply the bottom, you have to multiply the top by the exact same number. Negative 1 times 2 is negative 2. So 3 eighths minus 1 fourth is really 3 eighths minus 2 eighths. And so just like we did above, you subtract across but you keep the denominator as is. So 3 eighths minus 1 fourth is equal to 1 eighth. So I'm Jimmy, and these are some strategies on how to add and subtract fractions.